Hello, welcome. My name is Charity and this message is for Libra. So this is going to be a love reading. We're going to look at the energies of your person, the person that is on your mind or the person that might be coming towards you, what they are feeling and what they would like to say to you, but maybe haven't said yet. I already have, look at that, that one just jumped out. We already have the overall heart of the matter and it's the two of cups. What is going on, Libra? So we're going to look at what this person is thinking about you, feeling what they like, don't like about the connection, highest hopes, deepest fears, and what is likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and some advice for you. So you're definitely in somebody's mind. That is for sure. We got the heart of the matter. Let's see what they would like to say but haven't said yet. Spirit, what would they like to say? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, they're gonna say it soon because we got some fast moving energy here and it's, there's some romance. I like this Libra, I like it so far. Okay, let's see what else is going on. How are they feeling about you? How are they feeling about Libra? What are they thinking? What are they thinking about Libra? Oh, a whole bunch wanted to jump out. A lot of thoughts. What are they thinking about you? It's so funny, a whole bunch keep trying to jump out and one isn't, let's see. There we go. Okay. What do they like about you? And that one just, oh, wow. Okay. What do they like best? These cards just keep playing out. What do they like best about the connection? What don't they like about the connection? Spirit, what is it they don't like as much about the connection? What are their highest hopes? And what are their deepest fears? And now I'm gonna get three more cards. What is likely to happen? What they're likely to do and advice for you. And I'm gonna lay them face down over here and I won't look at them until I look at them with you. Okay. Spirit, what is likely to happen? What is likely to happen? Okay, they kind of flipped a little bit, but I didn't look. I just put them right back over. Likely to happen, what they're likely to do, and advice for Libra. Advice for Libra, oh my gosh. Okay, that one flew out too, but it landed face down, so that's good. <laughs> okay. I don't want to see until you guys see. It's been kind of fun, this style of reading I'm doing since I had time to do a bunch of bonus mid-month readings. Um, get to do a different style and I'm really enjoying it. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. Aries energy could be significant, but really this is the energy of somebody that feels like they're the one. They feel like this connection is, is right. It's, they feel like they're the person for you. And there's something about finding their confidence, finding some stability, and letting you know how they feel. Um, heart of the matter is the Two of Cups. And that one just flew out right as we were getting started. I like the Two of Cups a lot on this deck. I just like how colorful it is. But this is um, two people sharing cups, sharing their emotions, sharing their feelings feeling the same about one another. And I do feel like they're very much hoping you feel about them the way that they feel about you. I'm not sure if they know yet. And I'll tell you why as we get further along, but they're really hoping that this is reciprocated. What they want to say to you, but haven't said yet, is the Knight of Wands. And you know how I said it when I was pulling the cards at the beginning? What they want to say and haven't said, you might hear quickly because the Knight of Wands is a fast moving energy and it's sitting right next to a Knight of Swords. So they, this could, um, 
This could be a communication that comes in soon. They're definitely giving it some thought, but what they want to say to you that they haven't said yet is that they are crazy about you. They're extremely attracted to you. I mean, the Knight of Wands, that's some high fire, that's some heat, that's some passion. This person is very interested in you physically, and yet we do have these vulnerable, like, love feelings with the Two of Cups, so it's more than just physical interest. There's emotion here. Um, Cancer energy for me, the Two of Cups. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Knight of Wands. Um... Scorpio Pisces, of course, since it is water. That cancer for me as a reader. What they feel about you is a knight of swords. This person doesn't want to waste any time. They want to come towards you. They want to be with you. They think about you a lot. And I almost feel like there's a little bit more fantasizing possibly than communicating because the Knight of Swords usually comes rushing in, but this person, they have the sword sort of up here and swords are thoughts. It's almost like they're, they're holding a lot of thoughts about you, but they might not necessarily have spoken up just yet, or maybe you haven't spoken in a little while. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy there, because how they feel about you is the Five of Pentacles. For some reason, this person is missing you. They're feeling distant. They're feeling apart. They're feeling like they want to see you. They want to be around you. They feel like there's potential here. Taurus energy could be significant. Um, Virgo Capricorn, but strong Taurus for me as a reader. This person, I mean, I don't know that I've ever said this in a reading, and it's not going to be true for everyone, but someone like cried over you last night. Like they're thinking about you, very attracted to you, feeling like they wanna to talk to you, for some reason not knowing what to say, but somebody specifically like looked at your picture and, and teared up. And that is specifically for someone. Um, and I've never noticed this before in this card, but there's a wing here. It's almost like this person is feeling far from you and it's like they wanna to fly towards you. It's almost like they wanna like grow wings and fly towards you. They just wanna be with you. Their thoughts travel towards you all the time. You might even pick up on them kind of psychically with that energy, with the way their thoughts are traveling towards you, but they're missing you. And they're missing you either because they haven't told you how much, you know, they like you yet and you just don't know, or there's been some sort of challenge between the two of you, or you're far apart from one another. There's like thousands of people watching these messages, some of them now, and I thank you, every one of you that is watching. It's amazing. But as an empath, picking up on a lot of energies, I get a lot of different, different things. So different situations will be different, but these are the energies. So what they like about you, and I love this, it's the star. Aquarius energy, that it's really the energy of being exactly who you are. They like you, they like you. It reminds me of Bridget Jones where um, she tells all her friends that, oh, I can't remember the, the name of the guy. She's like, he said he likes me just as I am. <laughs> I love that movie, it's an old movie, but you know, that's. <laughs> one of my favorites but I just thought of that when I saw what they like best about you is the star and star is someone being very authentic very true to who they are they like you for who you are if you've been feeling like you need to change or do something different I would just go all in being you listen to your intuition trust yourself because this person likes they likes you they like you for who you are and they also, I feel like in some situations, someone's seeing you be very resilient and get through a lot of things and they really admire you for that. I think at times they almost wish they could be more like that, just um, how resilient you are. And if you speak your mind, if you're creative or if you just, you know, tell it like it is, they admire that. It's almost like they wish they were more like that. It's almost like they're hearing this, this energy, this five of pentacles on their own, mainly because there's some kind of nerves about speaking up. Um, what they like best about the connection is the 10 of cups. 
You make them completely happy. This is emotional fulfillment. Pisces energy for me as a reader. Um, Scorpio and Cancer because they're cups, but there is a feeling for this person that you could be their Ten of Cups. You could be their Two of Cups. You could be the one that that they see every morning over coffee and be happy every time they see your face. Like every time they see your face, they think about that. And for some, they, they actually would love to just build a life with you. Um, whenever you see children in the tarot, it doesn't necessarily mean children. Sometimes it does, but often it just means new beginnings, new, new lives, new ways of being. And it's almost like they want to come from like, the different worlds, almost like the two of you have some, some, some differences. And I don't know what it is. It's almost like it could be culture. It could be distance. It could be age differences. It could be like family groups. And I don't usually see that from this card, but there is something, and I especially see it with like all these, like these cups, like all these little rainbow cups and everything that you have all these different things, all these different experiences and these different worlds that you come from. But there's something about the two of you and something that you feel for one another in your heart that just brings it all together. And it makes it all make sense. Even if it doesn't make sense to anyone else, it makes sense to you two because you both feel it. What they like least about the connection is the king of coins, which is interesting. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um... I don't know if they think there might be someone else in the picture, someone more stable, more reliable, more there for you, someone who's around you, especially if they're long distance. They might be concerned that there's somebody around you that you might be more interested in or something like that. Or their fears are that they haven't, they haven't figured it all out. They haven't got it all together. They don't have enough to um, do the things they need to do. Sometimes when you have fears around the King of Pentacles, because the King of Pentacles has, has it all, they have it all and enough to provide, enough to travel, enough to buy gifts, you know? It's like they could want to have so much more to offer you and not feel like they have it. Let's go ahead and get a clarifier on that. Why, why is the King of Coins what they like least about this connection? Why is the King of Coins? Spirit shows why is the King of Coins what they like least? Two cards fly out. King of Swords and Seven of Pentacles. Interesting. They think about you quite a lot. There is an energy with this person that is could be a little bit stubborn to open up. It's almost like they want to know how you feel before they say how they feel. But if they don't say how they feel, how are they going to know how you feel? It's like they got to open up. They got to let down that guard. And with the Seven of Pentacles... Taurus energy could be significant. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius there. Um, it's almost like they're waiting for the right the right moment to see you and be around you, come forward. Um, some of you could have two people interested in you and one is kind of worried about what the other's thinking. Obviously, that's not everyone. That could be someone though. Um, I just have to say when I say pop up like that, but I feel like what it really comes down to, because these are energies, they're just energies, someone who thinks about you a lot, but they don't know how to actually fully make it happen. And it's almost like they're working and waiting and wanting to just make it happen. But there's something about them with that seven of pentacles that's waiting for the right moment. What they like most about the connection is the seven of cups, which means... This person might be fantasizing about you quite a lot, especially with this Two of Cups and the Knight of Wands. I mean, they could be falling for you. Some some could be in love with you, um, very attracted to you, very interested in you, but not really knowing how to come forward and saying say it, feeling distant. And so they're thinking, dreaming, imagining, wishing, fantasizing. The issue with the seven of cups, in order to have a cup to offer, you need to have one cup to offer, you know, you each need one cup to offer that one cup from your heart. You've got to choose a cup. You've got to choose a path. You've got to choose a decision, like what to do, how to show up, how to follow through. The seven of cups is just accidental manifestation. It's when 
you're not really paying attention to your thoughts and your emotions. And because we tend to create what we focus most on and you're getting drawn this way and you're getting drawn that way, you don't actually focus on one thing long enough to really manifest it. And so it's like, I feel like they're in this dreamy energy around you, this fantasizing energy, this wishing for you kind of energy, but they're not taking those, those steps, those really solid concrete steps. But boy, with the seven cups being like what they like best, they sure like thinking about you. Um, you could even be picking up on them psychically quite a lot thinking about you. So I asked for a clarifier on that and I got this 10 of swords in reverse. If the two of you are not talking right now, or if there has been some sort of miscommunication, or if there's been some sort of ending, some sort of silence, they want that to be over. They want to see, see you. They want to talk to you. Um, they want to connect with you. I don't know if they're sure that, that you, <laughs> that you want the same, but they definitely want, if the two of you aren't talking, they definitely want to, they definitely want to talk. Um, their deepest fears are the page of wands. So there's something around this person having fears about communicating what they're feeling how attracted they are to you. And I feel like there's a lot of different reasons and it's different for everyone. For some, there could be some sort of distance. For some, the two of you had a um, some sort of miscommunication, breakdown, breakup, something like that when you're seeing that Ten of Swords there and them hoping that Ten of Swords will go into reverse, which means they're hoping to see you, talk to you again. Um, they could feel like there could be someone else in the picture and they don't really know where they stand or they could just be shy. They could just simply be shy. I'm picking up on a lot of different energies. So you have to take what's yours and trust that. So now we're going to see what they're, what's likely to happen. What is likely to happen? Oh my gosh, 10 of pentacles. This could work out. They're going to have to come forward and definitely show up and tell you how they feel. For some, they're going to be making, sending a message, making a long distance call, or even wanting to travel towards you because there's something to do with distance. This person looks like they're arriving from a journey. And, um, and sometimes the distance can just be emotional distance. You know, breaking the ice, if you haven't talked for a while and somebody needs to speak up, you know? Um, but I definitely feel like this is someone who wants to see you face to face. They want to talk. They want to hear your voice and they want something lasting for the 10 of Pentacles to be the, what is likely to happen and the 10 of cups being what they like best about the connection. This person really feels like you could be the one you could be the one and only, and the person that they really, truly honestly spend their time with, spend their life with, make a commitment to. So what are they likely to do? Oh, King of Wands. They're going to get that confidence up. They're going to show up. Um, Capricorn energy here for this Ten of Pentacles, King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But you know how we have this Knight of Wands here is what they want to say but haven't. They're really attracted to you, really interested in wanting to talk. But they're, they're, you know, there's some kind of nerves. Their deepest fears are the Page of Wands, which is opening up this line of communication or reopening or just speaking up and telling you how they feel. Um, what's likely to happen is I feel like the two of you could really see each other you could really potentially have something lasting because this person is getting their confidence up we went from the knight of wands the page of wands to the king of wands this is someone who doesn't just come rushing in and rushing back out again this is someone who comes to stay this is someone who really shows up i feel like they're overcoming whatever fears they have about not having enough to offer because there's some kind of fear with that um, overcoming these fears around being kind of like stubborn and doing a lot of thinking, but not really acting on their feelings to truly coming forward, taking a stand and showing you how they feel. That's fantastic. So what's your advice? What is your advice, Libra? Eight of cups. Very interesting. Don't worry about what so much, what you need to do or what you need to say. Um, 
Go within, trust your heart. If you need time on your own, take time on your own. Um, there's been some sort of disappointment. There's been something that just hasn't really fully made you happy in this connection. And if you're feeling a lot of deep feelings for someone and they're not opening up for whatever reason, be it distance, shy, miscommunication, whatever the reason, it can make you feel like like there's nothing nothing you can do, you know? It can make you feel a little bit like like something isn't isn't working out. And um, this person, they leave the things that aren't satisfying and they go look for their ninth cup and they go look for their 10th cup and they go within and they do their inner work and they trust their intuition. Whenever you see the moon, it's someone facing towards their intuition. So this is you releasing things that aren't very, you know, that don't make you happy, that aren't satisfying to you to truly pursue your ninth wish come true, your 10th cup. And this person is hoping to be your 10th cup. But it's so interesting because we have you kind of maybe pulling away from the situation because something just really hasn't, I feel like this person maybe just hasn't really let you know how much they care or how they truly feel. And so here you are kind of pulling away to go within, to do your inner work. And here's this King of Wands showing up and telling you how they feel. I'm gonna get one more clarifier for that advice card. Oh my gosh. That one just flew out. It's the Knight of Cups. There is a romantic offer, and I feel like it could be when you least expect it. It's almost like the moment you give up, let go, just think, you know what? I'm just going to go inside, take care of myself, think of what I truly want, what I want to manifest, what's best for me. In comes this very romantic offer. And it's so interesting because you're here on your own kind of doing your inner work and um, thinking about what is really meaningful to you. And in comes this Knight of Cups with a romantic offer. So that is the message that I have for you, Libra. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces with this Eight of Cups and Knight of Cups. That is, uh, that is helpful. But that is a message that I have for you. I hope that something specific spoke to you, resonates, and gives you what you needed to hear. And I just looked up at the time on my on my clock here, and I saw two, 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 two. So you could be seeing a lot of 22s. I know that's been a theme for me. So if you liked the reading, I'd love you put a like on it. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd appreciate if you would. Thank you to all subscribers, new and old, everyone who's been with me and everyone who's joined me recently. You guys make me want to make more and more videos. It's like the more people show up to watch, the more people that comment, the more videos I just want to like put out and share with you all. So I've been so excited to do readings because um, you guys are watching them and I'll keep making more. I love it. So definitely comment. Let me know if it resonates. If something spoke to you and you'd like a personal reading, my website is charitychanace.com. All the details are in the description box. And I have tons of different options um, for readings, love readings, divine counterpart readings, past life readings, tons of stuff. I would love to hear from you all if you feel guided to reach out for a reading. And if you're on Patreon with me, then there is a whole page of discounted readings and a FaceTime reading. Um, so if you're on Patreon, be sure to, uh, to check out that link and ask me for it if you don't have it. And... Um, and I just thank you all so much, everyone who is, who is joining me on this channel and watching these videos. I really appreciate you. Happy birthday to Libras that are celebrating right now. I hope you have a wonderful rest of October. Thank you so much.